Hi, and welcome back to Live, Work, Be Well. Today's question is all about macros. One of our Wellcast members asked, concerning food macros, what are they all about? So macros actually stands for macronutrients, and macronutrients are the energy producing nutrients in our food, and they include fats, proteins, and carbohydrates. Fats produce 9 calories per gram, and protein and carbs both produce 4 calories per gram. So when, so when someone is talking about their macros, they're talking about their calorie intake. Now, tracking macros is a little different from simply counting calories, because if you're just counting calories, you're not considering how many of those calories are coming from fat, how many of those calories are coming from protein, or how many of those calories are coming from carbohydrates. However, when you're tracking your macros, this is exactly what you pay attention to. So people tracking their macros might follow different, what are referred to as macronutrient spreads. And a macronutrient spread is just a percentage representation of each macronutrient. So let me give you an example. One macronutrient spread might be 10% of pro 10 protein, 60% carbs, and 30% fat. This means that 10% of protein would be, 10% of your calories would come from protein, 60% of your calories would come from carbs, and 30% of your calories would come from fat. You can also, uh, another example would be 15% protein, 65% carbs, and 20% fat. So depending on your dietary choices and your exercise goals, you can follow a different macronutrient spread. The scientific literature has actually established um, ranges for each of the macronutrients that will optimize health and allow for enough flexibility for various dietary and exercise choices as well. These ranges are called AMDRs, or Acceptable Macronutrient Distribution Ranges. And they're as follows. For protein, it's 10% to 35% of total calories. For carbohydrates, it's 45% to 65% of total calories. And for fat, it's 20% to 35% of total calories. So an athlete, for example, might be on the higher end of the protein range because they need more protein to contribute to muscle synthesis. And they also might be on the higher range of fat because they need extra calories to make sure that that extra protein they're taking in actually goes towards muscle synthesis and not energy production. A vegetarian, on the other hand, might be lower on the protein range and higher on the carbohydrate range because they're consuming more plant-based foods, which are naturally lower in protein and naturally higher in carbohydrates. So as you can see, the AMDRs do allow for a wide variety of dietary and exercise preferences. So whenever you're looking to follow a certain macronutrient spread, it's recommended to stay within the AMDRs to make sure that you're not getting too much of one macronutrient or too little of another. So we hope this has answered your question about what macros are and what they're all about. And we look forward to seeing you next week. Take care.